This is how I like to try to reduce our household's red meat consumption. Essentially, I add white meat to my red meat so it becomes a very appetizing pink meat. Here we have about equal parts of turkey and beef and I do like to use a leaner cut of meat and then a fattier one. It just makes the meat juicier but you want to be healthy so don't overdo it there's some spices here um i think these are like the base base spices that you'd want to use if you want to add some good flavor but you do you i do like to mix my spices and seasonings in together first when i have the ability and time to um, it just incorporates all the flavors together that way in your final product you don't get like a big chunk of pepper and then like a really salty part. It helps. I learned it from my mom. And I am adding turkey in now. I am adding the turkey first um, because I do want all of the flavors to incorporate and soak into the turkey. Since it is more bland than the meat, the, well, the beef. And mixing it together, just make sure that you get all of the flavors into the blander of the meat. Then we're adding our beef. Similar concept with the meat, you want to make sure that everything mixes together properly so that you don't get a chunk of beef here and then a chunk of turkey there. It's not terrible, but if you have time, I think it just makes for a more consistent dish. I'm adding some oil here. I do usually like to use a little bit more oil in my stainless steel pans and woks than I do the non-stick ones because everything sticks to the surface and you want to just get it hot enough and let me let you hear the sizzle this nice sizzle sizzle town The sound of sizzling food and in this case sizzling meat it's like a rain ambiance but better because it's food <laughs> anyway so this was about two pounds of meat and it took me around 17 minutes to cook I am trying to cook all of the water out of it because you don't want soggy meat <laughs> and um, I'm also trying to caramelize it it helps with the flavor, definitely the color, and I do leave it, that's how you get the carameliz caramelization, you just let it essentially burn, but try not to actually burn it. So again, about 17 minutes until I got my finished meat product here. Again, this looks good to me. If you want it even more appetizing and appealing, you can make it darker. Just add more soy sauce or dark soy sauce. Um, but that looks good to me. So this was the uh, ground meat, but you can make it in meatball or patty form. I added it to some spaghetti. It was good. I liked it. And I hope that you liked this video and that you try it out.